tonight on Tech Live. A wall of water coming towards New York City. Is a big bad climate disaster coming the day after tomorrow? Not likely, but scientists are heading north. To One of my artist friends in home, Geppetto. <laughs> this guy's modding bots to make art. We check out these mechanical masters at work. Now, here's Tech Live. Brush strokes by bots? This guy's turning robots into artists by putting computerized creations on canvas. Through blue periods, smoke fancy French cigarettes, or even cut off their own ears. We're talking about robot artists. And it's not just a lot of ones and zeros. David Stevenson shows us paintings by bots. That's the night's hot click. He's retired from the world of academia and business technology. Instead, computer scientist Max Chandler uses Canvas as his laboratory. Among my artist friends, have been called Geppetto. <laughs> That's because Chandler has fathered these Lego Mindstorm robots, modified to help create this series of cacti paintings. I'm very much interested in the mathematics behind life, growth of life. That's where the bots come in. I program the turns to be segments of spirals so that they're like a growing living thing rather than a circular arc. Chandler creates a template for the bots along the partially completed canvas. Black masking tape guides this electronic sensor. Because the sensor and the brushes are some radius away from each other, it's not an exact copy. And that creates happy accidents on canvas. His most successful student, Gimpy so won. When something like, walks, you have this, this uh, center of gravity shifting. And so I use that to, to put, you know, energy into the brush marks. Chandler hopes to show how science and technology shape nature and our view of the world. These bots are his collaborators. We're at a page where we have smart devices around us and we know how to use them. And that should become a part of art as well. Why not? And a few notes about Chandler's background. He's designed and built machines used in milk carton manufacturing and Olympic gymnastics equipment. Some of the software he's worked on includes The Sims and SimCity, Chris. I don't know. I don't know much about art, but is he, does he exhibit the stuff or, you know, show it to people? He actually does. He's actually had a couple of shows in Northern California, specifically shows focusing on art with robots or made by robots and others on the use of digital equipment in mm. art, too. It's Northern, interesting stuff. Yeah, Northern California, a lot of artsy people out there. Yeah.